the familiar site of a Trinity House lighthouse, something you'll find all around the British coast. Except this one looks out on this stunning Mediterranean view. This is because it's at Europa Point in the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar. The rock as it's known may be British, but it lies cheek by jowl with its neighbour Spain, and the Spanish influence can be seen all around town. The Gibraltarians emphasise their Britishness. All signs are in English. The currency is sterling. Law and commerce is carried on in English. Institutions are British. The main street has British doors, and there's even a Morrison's in town. This is despite the fact that citizens are invariably bilingual and Spanish is frequently heard from both residents and visitors. The territory might be right next to the Kingdom of Spain, but it's an outpost of Britain. Why this flush of Britishness? Gibraltarians want to emphasise they don't belong to Spain, but belong to Britain, even though the UK is 2,000 miles away. As a result, the place has a British feel even though Spain is right there, just across the border. If you're a follower of Jesus and have accepted him into your life, then you're a new creation and you're the citizen of a new kingdom. Let's see what Paul says about that in his letter to the Colossians. For he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son who purchased our freedom and forgave our sins. In human terms, kingdom is about territory. Gibraltar is an outpost of Britain, geographically dominated by its large neighbour, who would like it returned. But its citizens show that in every way that they want to be British. The kingdom of God isn't defined by territory, but by allegiance. This is what Jesus says about it in Luke's Gospel. The kingdom of God can't be detected by visible signs. You won't be able to say, here it is, or it's over there. For the kingdom of God is already among you. In Jesus, God is building his kingdom person by person. So that means as a Christian, I'm already an outpost of his kingdom. And if you're a Christian, you are too. Which brings us to an important question. If you're an outpost of the kingdom, how does it show in your life? How do you speak? How do you act? Does your life make a difference to others? If you go to Gibraltar, you will know that it belongs to Britain and not to Spain because everything there shouts that out. If you're a citizen of heaven, then everything in your life should show that you belong to Jesus. The question is, does it?